Another controversy that's brewing in Andhra Pradesh this time. Tirupati Balaji Temple is the world's wealthiest Hindu shrine drawing millions of devotees annually and dedicated to Lord Venkateshwara is one of the most revered shrines in India. But this shrine is now embroiled in a massive controversy. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu has alleged that the sanctity of the temple has been compromised during Jagan's tenure. Chief Minister Naidu has alleged that animal fat was used for preparing sacred offerings at the Tirumala Temple. YSRCP has now called these allegations leveled by Naidu malicious. YSRCP uh, even warned of legal action if Chandrababu Naidu fails to prove the charges. But let's also tell you what the test report highlights. The laddus were adulterated with animal fat. That's the biggest point of concern over here. Now, animal fats have been detected in ghee that was used for these laddus. Beef tallow and pig lard have been used in Tirupati Prasad. Fish oil also has been detected in the Tirupati Prasad. And that is why the question we come to is who is hurting the devotees Asta? That is the question we'll be posing to our guests in just a bit. But before that, we have some breaking inputs in fact coming in. We'll go to them in just a bit. Vengateswara Swami Pavitratan Devadishyar Enno Saru Jephyam Akkada Enta Durmarkinga Prahitin Jishyar Enta Enta Durmarkinga Prahitin Chal In a preliminary report which was submitted by the Vigilance Department It was stated that funds to the tune of 530 crore were looted This is a preliminary estimation If he has any proof, let him come and prove. Otherwise, I am ready to go and uh, take oath before Lord Venkateshwara during that five, five years of our governance. Nothing has happened like what he has commented. Our guests, we have breaking inputs coming in. In fact, Civil Aviation Minister Ram Mohan Naidu in an exclusive interview to CNN News 18 has in fact asked for an investigation and demanded answers from Vice RCP for insulting Hindu faith. Ram Mohan Naidu even highlights that in the last five years, during the YSRCP government, there were many complaints on the quality of the Ladus, but nothing was done. And so, Aviation Minister Ram Mohan Naidu also urging for an investigation, but he's also talked about how there were complaints. He's highlighted that in the last five years, during the Vice RCP uh, tenure, there were complaints which were in fact left unattended, unheard by the Vice RCP government. On that note, let's quickly go across to our guests. I'm joined in by Mr. Narayanan Murthy, who's a spokesperson for the Vice RCP, Mr. Deepak Reddy, who's a spokesperson for the TDP. Uh, in fact, Mr. Murthy, I just want to ask you, what is your thought when, it, uh, when you look at the test report? It, I have the test report with me. It categorically states that there's been animal lard found, pig fat, fish oil, not to forget even beef fat. We have the report over here with us, and that's the test report which is stated. So why hasn't action been taken earlier, as is also being now asked by Ram Mohan Naidu? I'm going to request you to unmute yourself, please. Man, test reports they're showing in these uh, TV debates. Now I'm telling you, you of Thirumal, Thirupad Thirumala Devasthanam, TTD, you of Shyamal Rao, told very clearly that is vegetable fat. They don't know what fat it is without any proof, baseless allegations made by Chandra Babu Naidu, who is senior leader, and Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. 
this is not correct this is a agitation this is a attack this is a terror terrifying the hindu devotees and devotees of lord venkateswara which is largest biggest temple in the world crores and crores of devotees are suffering with this statement unknowingly chandra babu naidu is attacking hindu devotees of venkateswara lord venkateswara no but if that is what the it, report it is, is saying why are enough. you saying that it is attacking the hindu aasta it's in fact if going by the yes. test report we are glad that this has come to light otherwise uh, ignorance is bliss is it that's what i'm telling we are anyway we are going to court also we are going to court and they have to prove it baseless allegations our chairman former chairman yv subareddy garu he is a twice chairman for the ttd temple he challenged he told very clearly few hours back they are unnecessarily baseless allegations all right uh, mr deepak reddy because, because i once think again, Because I'm going to give you time. I've given you ample time, sir. Mayor. Let me also bring in Deepak Reddy. Deepak Reddy, I think Vice R C P has also gone on to state that these uh, laddus are also prepared by the Sri Vaishnava clan, and that they are devout devotees. And so it has nothing to do with the board members or any officers. Henceforth, the charge that there could have been some kind of vested interest with regards to uh, money involved in it is baseless. uh i need a minute time because sure, the people have ahead. to understand yeah what exactly has happened i need to get into certain details uh both the chairmen uh, during the ysr time were were one uncle and a close relative of ys jagan mohan reddy and the uh, ghee would be actually uh, sourced from government uh, uh, bodies from karnataka and from andhra and nandini dairy which is a government uh, dairy from karnataka was supplying for 50 years but once the ycp government came in they scrapped that system and got in these new vendor vendor system and i have a clipping here the head of nandini has given a paper statement saying that we are doing it uh, uh, for the lord at no profit basis if somebody quotes below than this there is a there is a chance of being adulterated this was cautioned way back a few years ago so this is something uh, 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 not which i have come up with it is an old paper cutting and ttd official website this this uh, thing was there which said that a vigilance inquiry has taken place and the uh, adulteration was found and after thorough study they have given a show cause notice and one person was blacklisted also so this is something which has been put out by ttd and today's newspaper clippings 520 crores siphoned off with preliminary preliminary uh, checking and the details that we have to provide 520 so, crores is today in fact uh, i'm going to bring in mr murthy on that note mr murthy the charge that has been heard by the bjp in andhra is that uh, your government try to divert um, funds in fact five worth 5000 crore rupees uh, from the TD, ttd's exchequer how do you respond to those charges now They, all funds from the tt used for only development of the temples across the state each and every place they are temples they are donating the money from the ttd to develop those temples and maintain those temples in the villages and but mr uh, murthy the charge yes, is some, also that pe people with criminal history were nominated on the ttd board and that no. is why they were only looking towards releasing tender to people who they were perhaps uh, knowing of totally baseless totally false allegation it's very convenient Because, to say yes, it's false yes. and it's it, it baseless it is untrue it is untrue baseless false allegations yes even see nomination is been taken by the government uh, from the you no know, different reservations from the different states different areas and different uh, no categories yes it is it is baseless mr deepak reddy it's a massive I, 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 charge I I don't want to tell there also let me, let me, let me, no, let me no, that's why that's why let, let, let me in fact Andhra Pradesh I don't want to let me bring in Deepak Reddy Mr Reddy it's a massive temple. charge as the vice rcp has been claiming that this is also an attack on the hindu aastha 
uh, making such an attack without any prior investigation, that's also not going to speak well of your government, which is why. What is the TDP now going to do? Will you be calling in for a CBI investigation as is also being demanded by the Bharatiya Janata Party? Ma'am, let me be very clear. When it comes to YSRCP party, truth is a very big casualty. So that is why whenever I come to a debate, when, when the opposite side, there is a YSR person, I do my study and I get all the data. So what I just showed you now is historic data and what is on paper. So this was something uh, which came out of an internal inquiry by the vigilance department of the, of the temple. Hmm. So these people are ending up uh, telling that, you know, even that is wrong. So now Chandrababu Naiduji, as our chief minister, has taken this very seriously. He's uh, uh, going to put an inquiry into the whole issue and they're going to get to the root of the cause. And all the people who are actually uh, related to this offense will, will be punished in a very severe manner because this is the sentiment of, of millions of uh, Hindus. Let me tell you one thing. Jagan Mohan Reddy and his family are Christians. We have no problem with that. But all we were telling him was when he was a CM, when you go there, he has to sign a declaration. So all non-Hindus who visit the temple have to sign a declaration saying that they respect the Lord. Jagan never did that. Not one. Multiple such issues were raised and they disrespected the Hindu traditions. And you would also know that 350 temples have been desecrated during, uh, during Jagan Mohan Reddy's uh, tenure. Until now... They, ha they could not uh, get right. to the root of that. Right. This you you know, Mr. Murthy, I think it's a very valid question, one that merits the fact that you are saying that this the, that the remarks coming in from Chandrababu Naidu are an attack on the entire Hindu community. But going by the findings of the test report, don't you think that's an insult to the Hindu Astha itself? I am telling he is insulting Hinduism. I am telling he is attacking on the no, devotees of uh, Lord Venkateshwara. I am telling terrifying terrorizing Hindu devotees and Lord Venkatasara devotees by telling these baseless allegations. So are you saying being that the test CM, report is baseless as well? Being are you saying minister, that the test report is baseless? That's what I'm telling you. Let, let them prove it. We are also going for going to Supreme Court. We are fighting. In fact, the Supreme Court has to take uh, voluntarily the case. Because this is not a matter of one person or hundred people or one village or one state. It is a matter of a respect of across Hindus, across world, across India, across world. Cross and cross of Hindus. No, respect it is. Self-respect. They're attacking on the self-respect of Hindus. Yes. They're insulting. They're well, attacking. Mr. Deepak They're misusing I, the Lord, Lord Venkatesh for our I, temple. I, 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 I mean, it, no, the question that it, also merits it, 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 the TDP is that what has the TDP done so far? Why aren't you banning the sale of these? Yeah, let, 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 let me tell you, since the national media is not really used to the style of YSR, they blatantly lie. Just before the elections, one minute, one minute, please, please, please hold on, please hold on. Please be patient for a minute, Mr. Ayamurthy. Mr. Murthy, please be patient for a second. Just before the elections, the only word what we would hear from the YCP people was, why not 175? We are going to win all the 175 seats. That's but what the people of Amit Pradesh did not give them the status of opposition also because you know, they were blatantly lying, blatantly disrespecting right. the uh, Reddy and Mr. Don't, Murthy, I'm sorry to interrupt you there. In fact, I'm getting in breaking inputs as we were talking about the reactions coming in from the TDP. In fact, uh, Union Civil Aviation Minister Mr. Ram Mohan Naidu in an exclusive interview to CNN News 18 has asked for an investigation and demanded answers from one YSRCP for insulting the Hindu faith. Uh, Naidu even highlights that in the last five years during the YSRCP government, there were many complaints on the quality of the laddu which were left unheard. Let's also listen in to what Ram Mohan Naidu has to say. Ram Mohan, even if we want to speak about the 100 days development, but what has come to the fore is a very, very disturbing uh, incident that we've seen pan out in Andhra Pradesh. Tirupati Devasthanam board, which is said to be very, very uh, important and very, very spiritual as far as the country is concerned. The controversy around the adulteration of the laddus, animal fat being used. What do you have to really say, even though the YSR Congress is saying that they have, uh, they are, they are saying that this is political vendetta of the... No, the, first uh, of all, I don't think they have any right to speak in this issue. It is outrageous and it is equally shocking 
for a uh, for a, a temple of uh, such great importance tirupati is not just a mere temple just like any other temple it is the highest visited hindu temple in the whole world with people up to 2 and 3 lakhs also visiting per day and uh, a temple which has such strong significance and which is always a pride for people of andhra also that there are people coming from Uh, um hindus coming from across the country and across the world and i have to also be honest and say that there are people of multiple faiths also coming and they have so much vishwas on uh, lord balaji that they come and one of the important factors uh, when they come and visit balaji is that they take away from them one is the blessings of lord balaji and the take away from the temple is the laddu itself and to uh, uh, manipulate that whole thing uh, and to adulterate that uh, laddu itself i don't think anyone in their dreams also would imagine to do it but that has become a reality today and it is very very shocking and i think it has to be probed further and uh, the people who have uh, uh, succumbed to this have to face the uh, uh, law all right let me quickly bring in mr murthy and mr reddy on that note mr murthy how do you respond to what ramohan naidu is saying i'm giving I, 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 you closing Ram, thoughts ramohan ramohan is not having a knowledge the people pilgrims visiting tirupati tirumala devasthanam ttd tirumala every day he is talking about 2 and 3 lakhs 2 to 3 lakhs every day he don't have a knowledge how many people visiting tirupati let them check and talk being a central minister being in responsible position he should talk facts how many people are visiting ask uh, mlc is there this is what statements they are making telugu desam people unknowingly they make statements and then they take back they foolish uh, now uh, pilgrims they foolish uh, uh, devotees of uh, lord venkateswara foolish hindu devotees they should know facts and figures all right With now the, the figures, ball certainly the comes things. to the tdp squad mr deepak reddy what is the tdp going to do about it a not to forget the fact that we have reports from 2017 which also go on to indicate that the ttd was incurring losses worth 140 crore rupees annually only because the laddus were being sold for a subs at a subsidized rate i know this is another crucial aspect of the entire issue but what will the uh, current chandra babu naidu government do about this in andhra is it just about calling in for uh, a cbi investigation to prove the charges uh, that have been hurled by your government against the ysrcp or is this also time that ttd as a board also be regulated ma'am I- i'm really surprised to see the kind of a response people from around the world are are agitated with with this news so chandra babu naidu ji is, is looking at it very seriously a detailed inquiry would be done no matter what the ycp gentleman has told the fact of the matter is this is the original copy of the test report which was I done by a government I, I lab. So, 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 so the facts, Allah. the facts talk for themselves. Please, 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 please. Mr. Modi, I have given you time to speak. Let Mr. Reddy finish his point. I no, just have no, ten no, seconds to no, give him. Mr. Reddy, Reddy, please go ahead, finish your so, point. So clearly, Mr. Modi, the clearly the facts are the, the clearly the facts are on paper, and the test report, the variables are clearly mentioned. and 5 years before All the right. chairman I'm of sure and in a detailed investigation uh, perhaps as demanded by the bjp of a central agency would perhaps rule out the facts over there many thanks to you mr reddy and mr murthy for joining in on plain speak